to challenge myself and I thought that with Spiro I could do it and I can. Food has donated over 100 Spiro Spark Edition robots to the Coquitlam School District. The end goal is to just begin a meaningful conversation and relationship between technology and robotics to foster peer-supported learning through block-based programming. The reason we donated the robot, and I think it's such a great vehicle, is because it's hardware. People can physically touch it, and when you can actually do some actions, you program it and see it move, kids can easily make that connection. Well, anyone with kids or who work with kids know that they learn quicker, they retain better when they're having fun. So being able to present learning in a more fun, interactive way helps them retain the knowledge, helps them grow, makes them more engaged, and certainly helps with the whole learning experience. It only took a few blocks to understand how the spiro works, how it drives and how to control it, because drag and drop is easy to understand, so it's interesting to figure out how to get it to do this or that. When you see a child interacting with a Sphero, they're proud, they're independent, they're in control, and the adults are sitting back amazed. It puts the child in the driver's seat, and it really gives the child those intrinsic skills and that confidence that we want the child to have. Embracing technology uh, in schools is really important because technology and mastering technology empowers kids and you know that, that empowerment that it gives kids gives kids options. The, the world is kind of endless um, and once you give it to kids they don't know any bounds. They don't know they're not supposed to try something so they will and they'll need us. Programming is much more accessible than people realize and I think we need to really embrace that.